So in this video, we are starting on our Ronin enemy, which will be able to dash after the player and it'll jump at them a fair amount. So let's get into it. So we can start off by making a new kinematic body 2D. And then we're going to name this our Ronin. And we can save it under enemies. I'm just gonna merge from scene uh, our clone. Just grab the basics in here. Right, I'll merge a little more as well. Uh, We'll just grab everything and then um, gonna duplicate these timers, delete the original ones. Just because just sometimes with merging scenes they can get a little weird with how they have the nodes will have the same properties, like if you change this to five seconds it'll do the same on the node in the original scene sometimes. Um, I don't even know what we use sometime for. Oh yeah, that's for uh, when our enemies on the ground. Sorry, I haven't done work on this for a while so I'm just remembering a little distracted I've been doing other stuff uh so I'm gonna cast program cast right play cast uh we don't need either of these so we can just drag this out and delete that So we'll add a script to our Ronin. Go into our clone. And we will just paste in everything. Uh, then we're going to add another state up here, which is going to be hiding. And what do we need to get rid of here? Nothing. Here, everything's fine. I will delete that stuff. Actually, uh. Oh, yeah. Gonna delete this. Gonna delete this. Then we can get rid of these, and the rest can stay there. I'm thinking we will delete our current uh, motion stuff. What is this mouse for? This stuff. And then. Yeah, we can just send our meet so where's it start right here? I'm just gonna do this. And I believe that's all we need. Delete this. That as well. Uh, 
that should be basically it. Yeah. So then I'm just gonna start putting these in. Then we're gonna connect our timers and our attack range. So on body entered and on body exited. Then we need a spawn time, attack delay, attack time, stun time. We can delete this. Walk us create delay. Fire tick time. Fire particle create delay. And that is it. So now we also need to set our collision to the enemy layer. I just want to double check. We don't collide with anything besides the environment, right? Yeah. Uh, then we got to add ourselves to the enemy group. And we don't need any other grouping. Yep. Now, just want to change this around, make sure it's not affected in here. Yep. So, what colors do we have? We have a blue, we have a yellow, we have a red. So, we can do green, purple, and it's kind of like turquoise. I think purple's a decent color for an answer. I want it to be more on the blue side though. Something like this. Yeah. So, uh, what new variables are we going to need? We need another timer. And then that's basically it, I think. I'll put this after our attack time and it's going to be hide time. One shot, so we'll do one second for now. Then on its timeout, I'm just going to put this past our attack time. We're going to do state is equal to combat. Then I want to check in our receive damage. Do we stop timers? Stop some of them. I'm gonna do money high time dot stop in both of these. Uh, yes, and we also in our receive damage we wanna do and state is not equal to Hiding. So we can make some functions. Funk uh, check for player. I'll we'll make a bar player spotted is equal to false. And then I'm going to make another recast. We are going to call it our player cast. And it's going to collide with the player. 
and the environment. So that you enabled 00, zero for starters. So in here we'll do money player cast dot cast to is equal to global to local global data dot player dot global position dot normalized. So we're just getting our player's direction relative to ourself, and then we're going to times that by um whatever we want our detection range to be, which is going to be like 200. I'm going to add in a recast to here, make it have 200x coy. Yeah, that's about a screen. So I'm actually going to change that to be something like 150. Then, uh, yeah, we'll do if money player cast is colliding. And we actually need to put this in front of this just before we try and update its position. Then uh, we'll do if money player cast dot get collider dot is in group player player spotted is equal to true. So an inner physics process uh Here, I want to do if state is equal to combat. We do have an attacking state right now. Then, if player spotted is equal to false, check the player. Actually, in here, I want to do if global data dot player is not equal to null. Let's tab this stuff forward. And then we'll do an else move to player. Uh, and we'll also decide jump. I don't know why I put those columns in there. I'm a little tired. <laughs> but uh, we will pass in delta here. So then we'll do funk move to player delta. And what's our speed? I'm thinking, should we have the ninjas accelerate or not? I'm thinking not, so I'm just going to do a uh, var speed is equal to 200 var jump power is equal to 200. I'll make that 100 now actually. Okay, so now we can do if global data dot player is not equal to null pass else motion dot x is equal to zero. Then, uh, want to do if global data dot player dot global position dot x is bigger than self dot global position dot x. 
then uh, motion dot x is equal to speed times delta times 10 else motion dot x is equal to negative speed times delta times 10. So now we need func decide jump and for now we're just going to do pass. So uh, we're going to instance a Ronin into our scene. I just want to delete this spring and fill in this gap. Okay. Immediately an error. Uh, ground cast is null and that is because this is no longer under our recast. So, we can try that again. Kind of working. <laughs> so, let's start off by going into our animate because I want to fix that and get rid of this play backwards. Then, let's also go into our animation player in our first, I'm going to want to grab this color and then in our spawn animator actually we need to go into here and paste in this color and I want to make sure that didn't carry over into our clone because animation players generally the ones that mess up most often it did Try control Z that, save it, duplicate this, delete this, try doing this now. This is still red. Change this to that. I just want to do one last double check. Okay. So, let's have a look at it now. what I might I'm changing it back to acceleration so uh, we'll do our acceleration what was our acceleration variables I'll grab these and I want to change this to uh, 600 and this to 150 Because our clone is ridiculously fast. And we'll do plus equals, minus equals, get rid of this negative. And then where do we clamp? Right there. Okay. So I'm going to go into our in. Physics process. And we'll do this here. Here actually. So then we'll do acceleration and acceleration. I want to check in our clone. You don't know, we'll just try it out. They're pretty fast. Uh, I decrease acceleration to 400, decrease this to 120. And I also want to, you know, I'll check for player, do and money spawn time dot is dot. 
Now we can try this out. So I want to make them slower. So, uh, yeah, we'll decrease this to 100. We'll, we'll make it 80 actually. Then we'll change this to 200. Actually, 100. Yeah, just because that way we get a bit of slide when they attack, and also it takes a second for them to turn around. Yeah. Now, let's go into our attack delay. Change this to purple. Let's grab our Ronin's color. And we're just going to open our attacks, large melee. Color, color is equal to purple. Sprite.modulate is equal to this. Let's try it out. Yeah, so basically we have made the clone again but with a different color palette. <laughs> so now we can start getting into what makes our Ronin the Ronin. And with starters we do the side jump. So in every frame if on ground is equal to true then I'm gonna do if well actually we'll do if global data dot player is not equal to null then if on ground is equal to true then var jump chance is equal to randy percent uh I need to do it times delta times 10 and we need this here oh, so we need to pass in delta as well I actually have no idea what this is this int thing is going to work. I'm just going to launch it now and find out. Apparently it does. Uh, so we're going to our Ronin. Now I just want to print our jump chance. Yeah, so we get a bunch of different numbers. And I want this to be really low because we're checking it every frame. And then if jump chance is equal to zero, and actually we need to do randomize first. Then motion dot y minus equals jump power. So we can try this out. It's taking me a while, so I'm gonna lower the jump chance required. And uh, yeah. Partially needs to be removed. I'm going to increase our jump power 
by a bit. Only by 10 actually. So I'm gonna increase this by 10. Let's just observe our menu. Two on after. Just gonna create a couple of duplicates and just wall climb in this corner. And we have a couple that'll jump every now and then. not going to attack like how the normal enemy attacks didn't have a dash attack. So then we can use let's see if we can reuse any assets or if I have to make new ones. I might just use this. It's a little lazy, but uh It'll do. So then I'll add an a sprite. Now let's call this dash indicator. Add in an animation player. Name it our dash animator. And what's in here? I'm just gonna duplicate it, delete this. I'm going to try making a new animation and seeing if it's in our clones. It is not. Okay. So, in air looks like that. going to rename this to dash. And we're just going to go into our animation. Use this. simple. Uh, let's go back to idle. Then I want to have a larger attack delay. Make it 0.18 for now. Then uh, yeah, let's get this done. So, how many frames does this have? We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Can we move it down to like the center of our body? We'll make a default. Oh, yeah, let's name this no dash autoplay. Set visible to off, then dash where we will set visible to on. Change this to 0 0.07 and key in some frames. I'll change this to 0 0.08 actually. Let's turn visible off here to see how that looks. Terrible. Um, is there something better I can do? What happens if I do a bit of a fade in and out? Hoping this looks good, but it probably isn't going to. You know what? It looks good. <laughs> uh, 
And so we can make this 0 0.8 seconds, then in no dash we will make the alpha to 0. And that is all we need. Well, we also need a timer. It's going to be electricity particle create delay. We'll get into that a little later. We'll just leave it alone for now. But, uh, we do need a, another timer. Called dash delay. And then we need another timer called actually we need after hide idle time and hide delay. Lots of stuff going on here. But uh, yeah, this will be 0 0.9 seconds. Well, actually, we'll make it 0 0.8. So here, what we're gonna do is state is equal to dashing. Do we have a dashing? We don't. Well, actually, state is equal to attacking. And then going to need to make it so that we have a after dash delay <laughs> after dash time I'm just gonna call this and yeah it can be one second uh, so the via dash direction is equal to vector two zero zero then we'll do if we'll do if global data dot player is not equal to null state is equal to attacking dash direction is equal to two local global data dot player dot global position dot normalized and I believe that's all we need mostly we need to trigger our attack time so we're gonna do on attack range body entered global data dot player. Um, so I'm gonna move this right between our hide and attack. And we need yet another timer. <laughs> Dot dash delay. Get one shot, zero point seven seconds for now. On its timeout, we can do money dash delay dot start. Money dash animator dot play dash and is there anything else we need? 
Not really. So I'll move this up here. Let's go into a physics process. And if money dash delay dot is stopped is equal to false motion is equal to vector two zero zero and my imagination is now limiting me of how far I can imagine this ahead. I'm just gonna see what happens. I never call the dashes. So in our clone sorry our Ronin uh, on our decide jump okay, we're going to do money start dash delay dot start and we'll also do over global to local global data dot player dot global position dot y is smaller than negative 20. So if they are above our Ronin's height by 20, it's also going to call this. Yeah, so now let's see what happens. They get completely glitched out. So we'll go into our Ronin. The ground has to be equal to true. And motion dot y is bigger than zero. You know what? It's close to working. So now, what we need to do is go into here. LF state is equal to attacking and money dash. We didn't make a dash time. Let's make a timer. Dash time. And it's just going to be something like 0.5. Put it here, it'll do nothing for now. So and money dash time dot is stopped is equal to false. Then motion is equal to dash direction times 400 times delta times 10 for now and uh, we'll go back down here and do money dash time dot start now let's try this out close <laughs> we're getting there so uh, I'm just going to decrease this to like 0 0.3 then increase our speed to a thousand for now. You need it to be bigger and actually we are being limited by this so I want to do if any, if state is what I'll do if here and then else here then do we clamp our motion dot y anywhere? I don't think so. 
so we should be pretty good. Let's try it out. Yeah. Uh, let's try it again. Interesting. So, uh, yeah, we need to make it that this loops better for now. Not dash time time out, we do after dash time dot start. And then we'll do LF money after dash time dot is dot. this see what happens never set our state out from attacking so what's our states combat attacking yeah okay, we'll do state is equal to combat now let's try this out Stuck in attack loops, a fair amount. Just gonna print high here. Say that on a dash time timeout, and let's set player in the area is equal to false. And now, hopefully, this will work better. Didn't really get to try it. This will be a fairly tough enemy, which is good. Yep, interesting. So now we gotta go into our receive damage. Then we'll just edit some more of these. So money start dash delay dot stop money dash delay dot stop money dash time dot stop money after dash time dot stop let's copy these and paste them in here Uh, I'm just going to make this a little bigger. So you can run right through them. And what actually happens if you stay still? They will definitely get you. Yeah, I'm trying to make the attack accuracy less accurate just because they are generally harder to kill an enemy. I think if you're really close to them. Yeah, they just don't get to hit you. Uh, so I'm also going to make a hit box on them. So 
here we've got a dash a box then we'll add a collision shape 2d to it uh, add in a circle make it fairly small move it down by one turn off visibility scan for a player then on body entered we'll do if body dot is in group player and money dash time did I ah okay we're going to merge that from our clone scene okay so I just want to disconnect this and delete it We'll go back into here and drag this up. Then we'll do on body entered. If body dot is in group player and money dash time dot is stopped is equal to false body dot Receive damage one self dot global position. Player does use receive damage, right? Damage type. Uh, let's say electrical. Is that the damage type we use? Let me open our thingy. Yeah. So then I'll put this right here. Go right here, launch it. And walk through them. Nothing. Uh, that didn't really work either. That definitely worked so. Uh, so that will actually make them do potentially two damage with a dash. I just want to make sure it's working by doing print the pie. Just delete this. So now uh, I want to add in this and make it 0 0.05 long. And I'm turn off one shot timeout and then if money dot dash time dot is stopped is equal to false. Actually, just dot is stopped. Actually, dot is stopped is really false. And do a like electricity particle create delay dot start, and I'm actually going to change it to one shot. Then here, what we will do is do uh, const like electricity particle is equal to preload electricity particle dot tscn this will do var electricity particle is equal to electricity particle dot instance get bound dot add child electricity particle the electricity particle the global position is equal to self dot global position 
And uh, I'm actually going to change this to 0.02. And we'll see what that does. We never start it. Uh, so in our dash delay timer, we'll also do the electricity product create dot start. And in our Ronin, uh, we also want to go into our animate and do LF state is equal to attacking and money dash delay dot is dot side dash time dot is stopped is equal to false then animation player dot play dash There to be less of those. So I'll change this back to 0 0.05. This should be like 4. I think it looks a little weird. I'm gonna make it that like we only get 2 or something. I don't know. Uh, let's do this. Make it 0 0.12. Okay, so we have like three particles. Looks okay. Actually, there's one more thing I want to do where we will do what do we call it? Uh, uh, ghost something? Ghost tail create delay. 0.035. Okay, we'll go into our going in. Add in another timer. Call it ghost trail create delay. One shot 0 0.035. Go into our player. Then copy our ghost trail. Put it in here. Then I'm just gonna connect this timeout. Go to our player and grab this. And I'm just gonna change that to money. Yeah, that should be it. And our mask sprite still works. Okay. Yeah, let's have a look at this. Didn't see it. I don't know if it's working. Uh, let's go into our room then. We never start it, and then also, I think, yeah, I think that's, I want to change our list to 23 or something, I don't know. Uh, so then, in our dash delay timeout, we're also going to do ghost trail create delay dot start yeah <laughs> okay this needs to be under our dash indicator slash ghost trail create delay I don't like how invisible that is. Uh, 
ghost trail dot modulate dot a is equal to zero point three or something. Let's try this out. Do kind of like that. Um, let me make it a little less visible. And then I want to increase our dash speed. To like 1,600. Whoa, yeah, too fast. Uh, let's change it to 1,200. I think that's pretty good. It's not like a lethal dash, it's just something basic, makes them more interesting. Oh uh, yeah, I think I'll leave the rest of the stuff we want to do for the next video though. That's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed watching it, and I also hope you learned something from it. Uh, if you have any recommendations or stuff you want to learn, then you can comment it and I'll see if I can get to it. Uh, otherwise, have a good day.